John Chow here from johnchow.com, and welcome to Driving with John Chow. Um, I just got my haircut. <laughs> yeah, I just got my haircut. I'm on my way home right now, and uh, I'm still enjoying this new uh, Tesla Model X. So I thought I would use this episode to show you or tell you about some of the more standout things that I like about it. Um, this is by far the most technologically advanced or gadget equipped a car I've ever seen. There's so many gadgets in here. I'm still exploring it. And uh, I want to show you maybe the, the top three or four. The first one is that this car is built in internet. Yeah, it, it, apparently uh, when, you, when you get a Tesla, uh, because they update the car over the air, that means the car has to be Wi-Fi encrypted. So uh, this car has built in 4G LTE. So I can actually surf the internet on this big screen and uh, it uses Google Maps instead of, uh, you know, the typical automotive GPS, which sucks. Google Maps, so uh, yeah, fantastic. Uh, and because it's LTE, I can set up a hotspot, so, you know, Sally with her iPad, she can connect to the Tesla Wi-Fi and actually surf the internet. I believe uh, I get four years, totally free, unlimited LTE internet for free for four years, and after that, you gotta pay. But it's okay because I won't have this car for four years. So, yeah, that's that's the first thing. Wireless internet connected car. <laughs> uh, the other thing is that I don't have to ever touch this door to get into the car. It has a a, a valet mode, and so what happens is uh, the the sensors all around this car. As I approach the car, it knows I'm coming because I'm holding my Tesla key in my wall in my pocket. It knows I'm coming, and the doors will open up for me automatically. It will automatically open up, and then once I get into the car. I just hit the parking brakes, I mean, yeah, hit the brakes and the door will, will close. So I don't actually have to touch this, this door. So that's kind of neat. And speak, so that's called a valet mode. And speaking of valet mode, there is also another valet mode. Like, you know, like uh, we're going out for dinner and we go valet parking. Well, it has a valet mode on here that you enter a, a, a pin and it go, puts the car in a valet mode. And it limits the speed to 70 miles an hour. You, they cannot engage ludicrous mode, but also built-in security feature. It loves it locks up the glove box and additional security feature on the on because this computer this is basically a computer. You know your it, ha, it links to my Google Calendar, it links to my email, it links to a whole bunch of stuff. In valet mode it locks that all out. So they can't figure out, you know, they on GPS, they can't figure out the home address, they can't check my calendar or anything like that. So that that I thought that was a that's a pretty cool feature to have. <laughs> and the last feature I, I, I guess coding along with uh, the convenience feature when uh, this car is equipped with an air suspension, so it, the height is adjustable. So if you have a steep driveway, and what happens is, you know, steep driveway, you want to raise the car before you enter your driveway, you know, you just stop, you raise the car. It will remember where your driveway is because, you know, it uh, uses the, I don't know, GPS, whatever, black box wizardry. But it will know. So next time when you approach your driveway, the car will automatically raise so you can go up, a steep, go up your steep driveway. So that's kind of cool too. And uh, you know how uh, most cars have, you know, the button to home link to connect to your garage door opener. So, you know, like my Jaguar has that. It's on the, it's on the rear view mirror. When I get home, I just hit that and then it oh, garage opens, opens up. Well, <laughs> same thing here. But because again, with the uh, GPS and stuff, the Tesla will know, uh, the Tesla will know you're actually home about your, your Tesla will know you're coming home and it knows that your garage is there and without you pushing any button, it will open the garage for you because it knows you're home. And, and if you use a summons feature, which is another, I haven't used that yet, but summons allows you to back the car to the garage if I, in, from your, using your iPhone or your smartphone. So in a summons feature, when you want to back the car to your garage, once she's up, it will automatically open the garage for you. You know, so you back the car out. Once you get, and once you leave your house, like you drive away, and I don't know if you ever, I've done this before, and you know, I actually left my house without closing my garage. I mean, yeah, forget, you know, that happens sometimes. So you cannot do that with this car because once you drive off, it will automatically close your garage door without you touching anything. So when you get home, it will open the garage and when you leave, it will close the garage. So <laughs> I'm sure in the future, in the future, this car will totally drive itself. I mean, it will take side to school. Uh, it will drive home, open the garage, go in the house, close the garage, and 
I'll program the Google Calendar, go pick up Sally at this time. I'll open the garage, drive, go pick up Sally, and yeah, I, that's that's coming. You know that's coming. I mean, it's 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 gonna be a very interesting future, that's for sure. So uh, I'm gonna continue to enjoy this car. Like I said, the best feature of this car is I got this for free. I said <laughs> that's the, my far the best feature. It's almost 150,000 bucks out the door with every option. I never pay for it. So like I said, part of the Mo Motors program. If you want to find more about that? You know, just uh, click the link below and find out about how you can get the car of your dreams for free, like I did. Right? John Shell from JohnShell.com. Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.